Join us in this tutorial series as we delve into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics and hence bank uncertainty principle. Through a series of problems and solutions, we will explore how to calculate the uncertainties in the position of momentum of an electron in various scenarios. From the determining the minimum uncertainty in position given momentum to finding the uncertainty in the momentum within a confined space. These problems shed light on the fundamental principle governing the behavior of particles at the, at the quantum level. Whether you are a student of physics or simply curious about the mysteries of the microscopic world, in this series, we will provide a valuable insight into one of the cornerstone principles of quantum mechanics. Let's assume we are given this kind of problem, which says an electron in an hydrogen atom has a momentum uncertainty which is dp, we are given the delta p to be equals to 1.5 exponential negative 24 kilogram meter per second, and we are asked to calculate the minimum uncertainty in its position according to the Herzberg uncertainty principle. How can we solve this problem? First thing you need to understand, according to the Herzberg uncertainty principle, the product of uncertainty in position, which is dx, which is dx, and the uncertainty in the momentum, the momentum, which is dp. Momentum, we know, is the product of mass and the velocity of the body. But in this case, it's greater or equal to what? Equal to h divided by 2, where the h is the reduced Planck constant. So, therefore, we can set dx multiplied by dp is greater than is greater than equal to h divided by 2. In this problem, we are given the delta p to be equal to 1.5 exponential negative 24. I say delta p is given to be 1.5 exponential negative 24. Remember, the unit is very important. We are given the unit to be in kilogram meter per second. So we need to rearrange everything here for us to find to solve for what dx. In this case, we are simply going to say dx is greater than or equals to h divided by 2 delta p. Also, dx is greater than or equals to h divided by 4 pi delta p. Remember, we are giving Planck's constant. Planck constant, which is here, is given to be what? Six. This is constant. The 6.626 exponential negative 34 in meter square kilogram per second. So, the next thing we need to do is to insert our values here. We are solving for delta x is going to be greater than or equals to what is our Planck constant? Planck constant is given to be about 6. 626 exponential negative 34 in what meter square kilogram per second. Then we are going to divide that by 4 pi, which the value of pi is simply going to be 22 divided by 7, which is equivalent to 33.142. 4 pi, we are going to multiply that by dp. And we are given our dp here, which is 1.5 exponential negative 24. Therefore, this is going to be multiplied by 1.5 exponential negative 24. The unit is going to be in kilogram meter in kilogram meter per second. Kilogram will cancel out, meter will cancel out. Here we'll be left with one meter and seconds will also cancel out. If we cancel out everything here, we are going to be left with what? Our dx is simply going to be, dx is going to be greater or equal to 6.626 exponential negative 30 for leaving behind with just one meter. Divide by, by divide by 4 pi multiply by 1.5 exponential negative 24 
if we divide everything at this point, we are going to have the dx, which is greater than or equals to. Our final answer is simply going to be 3.5 or 3 exponential negative 10 in meter. Therefore, we can finally conclude and say the minimum uncertainty in the position of an electron if we are given dx, which is greater than or equals to, is going to be dx greater than or equals to 3.503 exponential negative 10 in meter. And this is it for this problem. Let's look at, let's look at another problem. Let's say we are given the second problem which says if an electron is confined within a one-dimensional box of length 10 meter, uh, sorry, exponential negative 9 meter, what is the minimum uncertainty in its momentum according to the Hertzberg uncertainty principle? So, if an electron is confined within a one-dimensional box of length, which is what exponential negative 9 meter, what is the minimum uncertainty in its momentum according to the Hertzberg uncertainty? So how can we solve this problem? Sorry, I'm repeating the question twice. In one dimensional box, the uncertainty in position dx is equal to the length of the box, which is which has been denoted with word L. So according to the Hertzberg uncertainty, the uncertainty in the momentum dB is given to be what? dP is going to be h divided by 2 delta dx. Also, dp is going to be what? h divided by 4 pi delta x. In this case, we are going to have our dp, which is the h, we, remember we said is a Planck constant, is simply going to be 6.626 exponential negative 34 in meter square kilogram per second. I'm going to divide everything by what? 4 pi dx, which is the length. And we say the length is going to multiply everything by exponential 9 in meters. In this case, our meter will cancel out. We're going to be left to do just 1 meter. If I left to do 1 meter, our dp in this case is going to be 6.626 exponential negative 34. I'm going to have just one meter with what kilogram per second. Then we're going to divide everything by 4 pi exponential negative 9. If you divide both sides, you're going to be left, you are going to find dp is simply going to be 5.305 exponential negative 25. We're going to bring back our unit which is going to be kilogram meter per second. Therefore, the minimum uncertainty in the momentum of an electron, which is dp, is going to be 5.305 exponential negative 25 kilogram, uh, kilogram meter per second. This problem actually illustrates how the Hensburg uncertainty principle can be applied to calculate the uncertainty in the position of a momentum of an electron in different scenarios. So thank you for watching. See you next time.